All right, just shot that group right there at 300 yards in the sitting position with a hasty sling. Iron sights. All right, love this rifle. It's a rifle that you can put meat on the table and defend your country and your homestead with. Ruger Gunsight Scout. All right, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate rapid fire working the bolt with this and uh, I'll reload. All right. Um, if you want to learn how to run a rifle, uh, used to be join the Marine Corps and learn proper marksmanship, but I don't think they're even teaching how to shoot iron sights anymore, which I give shit to my buddies who are still in the Marine Corps. Um, a real rifleman needs to learn and be proficient with iron sights before you can go to an optic. That's being able to adjust windage and elevation um, on the fly. Now, with these sights, you can't do that. Uh, these are fixed. And uh, if you need to adjust windage or elevation, you got to use a little screw, which I suggest having with you in case you have to do so on the fly. Uh, but these sights are dialed in for me. They're a battle zero of 300 yards. So point of aim, point of impact, 300 and in. I'm going to hit what I'm aiming at. All right, what I'm going to demonstrate right now is that 100 yards of man-sized target is steel. Um, I'm going to demonstrate uh, in the standing, working this bolt fast. The way I do it is I come up with an with a, with a upward grip, palm up, up, over, back, and forward. So I'm almost I'm not even really closing my hand on the bolt if I don't have to. I can almost do it quicker with my palm. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate that and then a reload. Uh, the way that I carry these, I like to have ammunition on the gun um, in case of an emergency. All right, so let me set this up. About 100 here. We'll see how fast we can do this. Now, uh, a lot of times in the field, uh, you find yourself having to do a snapshot. So from a low ready in a patrolling manner, all right, you have to quickly acquire that front sight and, and get your target. So I'm going to do that for this first shot. Now I'm going to reload as quickly as I can, three rounds. Okay, head up, eyes up. All right, back in action. All right, five shots on a man-sized target, 100 yards. Okay, last thing I want to demonstrate, we have to be able to master the, uh, the snapshot. All right, I don't recommend going hunting or going on patrol ever ever having your weapon slung all right it is not a proper way to patrol it's not a proper way to hunt because it's going to take a little bit longer to get that weapon ready always have it in a low ready finger off the trigger you're going to be able to get that shot off a lot quicker however if you are in a defensive position or if you are working a uh say a um uh, a VCP or something and you've got your your weapon slung once again I don't recommend it you can get that weapon into action quickly from a strong side muzzle up or a weak side muzzle down very very quickly all right by by utilizing uh, uh, just grabbing the weapon by the forearm coming around quickly putting it in your shoulder same thing with a strong side muzzle up I'm gonna grab the uh, the stock and I'm gonna flip it around all right, you can get this gun up fast from these positions. So let's demonstrate that right now. Once again, I don't recommend hunting like this or patrolling like this, but sometimes we may be in a situation where we have it slung. We need to get into action quickly. So the two ways we carry our weapon, a rifle, is strong side muzzle up or weak side muzzle down. So from right here, quickly. All right. Now, weak side muzzle down, same concept. From here, all right, I can quickly get the gun up. Okay, and then I got one round left. Okay, I recommend getting a Magpul magazine. I like the five rounders. I don't feel like I need a 10 rounder necessarily. Uh, the 10 rounders are great, but 
you know, for hunting and even for defense, five rounds is, is good enough. I don't like to have too much hanging off here with this particular weapon. All right, I'm gonna do rapid fire again, this time from a kneeling. Great feature about the Ruger Scout is the Mauser bolt, all right? You don't see that a lot on bolt actions anymore. You have CFR control ground feeding, all right? And that goes in with positive action, all right? So here we are. We're gonna go rapid fire from the kneeling at 100 here and just see how well we can get on target quickly. Okay, a couple times there, that bolt gets sticky and I'm trying to get it up. It may slip off, I almost smacked myself. Okay, with this particular bolt, I, I recommend running gun grease on it. Um, gun grease is good for your AK bolts and your M1As. And for a heavy bolt like this, I probably need to put a little bit of gun grease on. But usually this is pretty smooth. Sometimes it sticks a little bit. And some of you guys out there, if you've had the same problem, let me know. Um, but it can be a little bit sticky. So I fire even with this. It's a, just a little bit, a little bit sticky. All right. But running that bolt smoothly is all, it's all practice. We got to come up. All right. Over and back, back again. Um, yeah. I love the rifle. It's great. I've killed five deer with it. This year I've killed two deer with this rifle. Um, the longest shot I've taken is 300 yards in the field with this weapon. First round hit, dropped it. Big fat doe, 300. Very proud of that. In the sitting position in a uh, hasty sling. Um, I'm proud of what this rifle can do. Uh, in the right hands, it is a very capable weapon. And I just run it with irons, man. These irons are great. You got a ghost ring sight and, and a pretty fat front post, which to me makes it easier to acquire your target. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're thinking about getting one, um, you could message me. I run a parade military sling, and I like to have rounds on the gun. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas.